Good morning, students. Are you ready for today's lesson? If you're ready, then let's start. This is Teacher Rena, and I will be your teacher for the subject. Science Grade 4, Unit 1, Plants, Roots, and Stems. Before we go to our discussion, please read the conversation. Please follow and read the video. About myself. About myself. My name is. My name is. My nickname is. My nickname is. I was born on. I was born on. In. In. I am years old. I am years old. I get up at six o'clock every day. I get up at six o'clock every day. I wash my face, brush my teeth. I wash my face, brush my teeth. And take a shower. And take a shower. I put on my school uniform. I put on my school uniform. My mother prepares my food. My mother prepares my food. And drives me to school. And drives me to school. I arrive at school. At 7 a.m. I arrive at school at 7 a.m. I study at Sarasas. I study at Sarasas. In grade. In grade. At school, I study many subjects school, in English. I study many subjects in English with foreign teachers. With foreign teachers. I like to study every subject. I like to study every subject. But the subject I like the most is math. But the subject I like the most is math. I can speak English well. I can speak English well. I like music class too. I like music class too. I can play the piano. I can play the piano. After lunch, I play table tennis with my After friends. Lunch, I play table tennis with my friends. In the afternoon, I study until 4:30 p.m. I study until 4:30 p.m. My mother picks me up at 6 p.m. My mother picks me up at 6 p.m. After dinner, I watch TV, play computer dinner, games. I watch TV, play computer games.
or chat with my friends. Or chat with my friends. I go to bed at nine p.m. I go to bed at nine p.m. I pray before I sleep. I pray before I sleep. I have a happy life. I have a happy life. My parents take good care of me. My parents take good care of me. I love them. I love them. I will do the best for them. I will do the best for them. That's all for our conversation. Now let's read vocabulary. Mathematics. Number one, arrange. Repeat after teacher. Arrange. Number two, compare. Compare. Number three, digit. Digit. Science. Number one, chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Number two, fibrous root. Fibrous root. Number three, transport. Social studies. Number one, Buddhism. Buddhism. Number two, religion. Religion. Number three, follower. Follower. Health education. Number one, ability. Ability. Number two, different. Different. Number three, understand. Understand. English. Number one, about. About. Number two, apple. Apple. And number three, balloon. Balloon. Now let's have dictation. Please get your paper. Write first June two thousand and twenty-one and o dot one. The numbers your paper from 1, 2, and 3. Let's start. Number 1. Chlorophyll. Chlorophyll. Write C-H-L-O-R-O-P-H-Y-L-L. Chlorophyll. Number two, fibrous root, fibrous root. Ready, F-I-B-R-O-U-S, fibrous. Now let's go for root, R-O-O-T, fibrous root. Number three, transport, transport. T R A N S P O R T transport. Now let's check the spelling. Number one is C H L O R O P H Y L L chlorophyll. Number two, F I B R O U S R O O T fibrous root. And number three, transport, T-R-A-N-S-P-O-R-T. Good. Now, let's start. So we will talk about plants. And you will also talk about the parts of the plants. Now, have you remembered during grade one, grade two, grade three, and during 
your KG years, you have already knew the parts of the plant. Now let's review what part of a plant is this. Yes, this is a leaf. Next, what part of a plant is that? Yes, it's a fruit. Next, flower. Good. Next is, what's your answer? Yes, you're correct. It's stem. And lastly, we have roots. And what we are going to talk about, the first that we're going to talk about. So all the parts of the plants are important because they work together to keep plants growing, reproducing, storing food, and nourishing the world. Without the parts, even just one part of a plant, it will not grow completely because they need each other. So we already know the parts of a plant. And we were going to talk about the roots. So let's start talking about roots. So this is a picture of the roots. And roots has three parts. The first one is tap root. The second one is a lateral root. And the last one is the root hairs, the small part of the roots. The biggest part is what we call tap root. And then next to the biggest is the lateral root. Now, the roots, generally, it holds the plant firmly to the soil. Because of the roots, it helps the plants to not move. Even if the weather changes or the climate changes, it doesn't, it doesn't matter. Because of the roots are firmly holding or anchoring to the soil. Next, let's discuss the role of the top root. Top roots are good at anchoring. So the same with the general role of the roots. It is good at anchoring. It holds firmly the plants into the soil, going deeper. The next, the one that does growing deeper is the fibrous roots. Fibrous roots are good at holding soil in place. So if you notice that the top root part of a uh, roots and that the fibrous roots, they are working together for a purpose, which is to hold the plant firmly in its place in the soil. And then we have the root hairs the root hairs so this is the root hairs the root hairs take up water and minerals from the soil and pass them to the stem so the root hairs are the smallest roots and because they are smallest they are the one they are the ones that go deeper in the soil and because they go deeper they get water and minerals from the soil and then from the roots going to the other part of the roots and then going up to the stem until it reach to the other the thickest part of the plant to nourish the plants next roots Roots can be used for storing food such as carrot, cassava, sweet potato, turnip, and radish plants. So these are the examples of root crafts. So roots are not only roots because there are some plants that produces food out of that roots. And they are called as root crafts. And they can be eaten. They are our food. Now I will show you three type of a plants. The first is a mangrove tree. A mangrove tree, please follow your book. A mangrove tree is, it grows near a river or a sea, or it grows by a river or by a sea. 
and it used for breathing. Second one, used for clasping other trees. An example of the plants that are clasping other trees are orchids, money tree, and ivy. Some are points in ivy, so they are vine type of plant. Then the third one is a banyan tree. A banyan tree, if you notice, there are roots. Roots that you can see in the outside, not in the soil. And that those roots are called the prop roots. They are called as prop roots. And even if they are only prop roots, they also play important role in banyan tree because they hold the trunk more firmly to the ground. So it's not only the roots of the banyan tree that hold them in its place, but also the prop roots that you can see outside. Now let's talk about the stems. So we're going to talk about the two parts of a plant, roots and stems. So we're now in stem. Stems bear the leaves, buds, flowers, and fruits of the plant. And if you don't know what buds is, so this is a buds. You know already leaves, right? You know already flowers. You know already fruits. And let me introduce to you buds. Buds is an embryonic shoot. It grows either in the side or it grows like this on the top of a plant. So that is a box. Next, the stems space themselves out and hold the leaves up to get air and enough sunlight. So the stems hold the leaves. Obviously, it holds the leaves. For the reason that because the leaves need air and sun. They need these air and sun to nourish. And if the sun also is needed and the air is needed also for the process of photosynthesis. So the leaves will blow because the stems allow them to be exposed to air and sunlight. Next, stems can be store a large amount of food. In some plants, such as potato, ginger, cactus, and sugar cane. So these are the example of the food or the plants where stems can store a large amount of food. Cactus, ginger, sugar cane, sugar cane, store sugar next stem transport food and water throughout the plant so this is an important thing that stems do it transports food and water throughout the plant by or through the vascular bundles the vascular bundles are found in the stem and the, um, um, these vascular bundles have two types. The first one is xylem, and the second one is phloem. Now, to tell you more about xylem and phloem, look at this picture. Xylem, color red. If you can notice, xylem, the arrows going up. So, what does it imply? It implies that. The water and minerals from the roots, it goes up, going to the stems, going to the leaves that needed nutrition, that needed water and minerals. So the xylem is going up from the roots, going to the leaves. And while the phloem, it goes down opposite to xylem. It goes down, the arrows going down. So from the leaves, it goes down to the roots and from the leaves it um, gives sugar roots. Now I have some questions for you. 
what part of a plant bear leaves, buds, flowers, and fruits? Yes, stem is the answer. Next question. What nutrients does the stem transport throughout the plant? The answer is food and water. The nutrients that the stem transport throughout the plant are food and water. Next, number three. What are the two tiny tubes that stem uses to transport water, minerals, and sugar? And I have also a hint for you to answer this question. These two, the one is going up and the other one is going down. So what is the name of these two parts of the tiny tubes? So this is xylem and phyllowen. Now for your activity, please answer the questions. Number one, two, three, and four. So these is all five items. So this would be all for today. Please keep in mind what you have learned. Today we have talked about plants and we have discussed about roots and stems. Stay safe and please keep on learning. Please read your books. Thank you for learning. See you soon.